Hi friends, in this video we will learn about solenoid, toroid and if possible some other topic also. What is a solenoid? A solenoid is a current carrying wire which is closely wounded into circular loops. Let me make some assumptions here. Of course, because of the current there will be some magnetic field and I want to calculate it. My first assumption is that that is a very long solenoid. Actually that is supposed to be an infinite solenoid, infinite in length. But for practical purposes, if our length is very very greater than the radius of each circular loop, then that will do it. Okay, this is my first assumption. Uh, using this, I want to calculate the magnetic field inside the solenoid. And second is that uh, the solenoid is closely bound. Now why is it closely bound? Observe this. If I have a wire, current carrying wire going into the screen, because of that, uh, my magnetic field will be like this, okay? and this uh, like this and if I place some other wire which is also going into the screen then the magnetic field due to that will also be in this direction okay now the combined effect of these two what what will happen here since it is this uh, this way magnetic field is in this way here and it is this way here these both things get cancelled and finally I can write it like this when I have two wires placed closely and if I have three wires same thing happens I'll get something like this that is what you see in the second picture when it is closely wound the solenoid has a magnetic field lines something similar to this one and observe that the magnetic field lines are bent when you reach the end of solenoid like it is shown here observe this they are bent so that's why I took the length of uh, solenoid to be very long, almost infinity. So that when I am dealing with the central part of the solenoid, I can consider the magnetic field lines to be straight and the magnetic field to be constant pretty much. Hope everything is clear till now. Now let's calculate the magnetic field inside the solenoid. You know that Ampere's law says that mu naught times the current enclosed inside any closed loop will be equal to the dot product of magnetic field and length or dl vector over the entire loop now first of all i have to for, i have to form a loop right this is my loop and uh, here anyway the magnetic field uh, on this on this line on this line of rectangle is zero as well as here also as you see now concentrate here anyway I assume that the magnetic field will be constant because of this assumption so let it be B and uh, length of this B say L from A to B so from C to D also it will be L and uh, anyway cos 0 is 1 so B into L should be equal to what mu naught times the current right the current enclosed is uh, say number of uh, turns per unit length is small n then total number of turns will be n into l and the current will be i where i is the i is the current passing through the through the solenoid this is the i okay okay then what about this this term uh, what about the b dot dl per ab what about this term it is zero you know why here the magnetic field is zero now don't get deceived by this figure i am not saying it is zero just because there is no blue line here and then you may argue what if i take a bigger loop like this then you have this blue line right now observe this argument carefully we have taken some assumptions here right we said that L is very very greater than L. Uh, by saying this I mean that we took the solenoid to be of infinite length. Okay. Actually what happens is if you have a small solenoid you will have a magnetic field loop like this. Okay. If the solenoid is very very long almost infinitely long what happens is this loop will also be so big that you can never make this uh, rectangular loop that can include this blue line that can include this uh, magnetic field line of uh, the upper end 
so what i'm to saying what i'm trying to say is that uh, our assumption uh, graciously made us easy and said that the magnetic field outside the solenoid is zero for a infinite solenoid if the length is infinity did you get me so finally b dot dl from a to b is zero because b is zero there and from b to c and a to d is uh, obviously zero so i have only one term here from c to d the b dot dl will be b and the length is l and here i have mu naught n l i where i is the current to the solenoid and uh, n is the number of turns per unit length ll gets cancelled and finally i have the formula for uh, magnetic field inside the solenoid as mu naught n i where i is the current to the solenoid and n is the number of turns per unit length note that i gave the small letter n here now let's move forward before moving forward let me discuss one more point here you had the solenoid here right uh, these thing these currents are going inside okay x x x here i have dot 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 now i formed a loop here and uh, i calculated the magnetic field using this loop okay here now you may say that uh, the magnetic field which i have calculated is only because of these currents uh, these currents which are going inside the into the plane so what about these currents uh, it may appear that i have not taken the effect of these currents into consideration but actually i have i did uh, i said that uh, the magnetic field out of the solenoid at this point q is zero and i gave some arguments also but note that if there were only these currents i mean uh, you if you neglect the lower part if there were, if there are only some currents which are going into the plane then the magnetic field above these currents wouldn't have been zero are you getting me by saying that the magnetic field is uh, uh, by saying that the magnetic field outside the solenoid is zero i have taken the effect of these currents also into consideration in simple terms i should say that you have this ampere's law right mu not into i enclosed in this formula for i enclosed you have to take the currents only which are enclosed in the loop whereas the magnetic field is due to all the other currents in the universe this is something similar to gauss law in the gauss law also i said that the mag uh, the, the the electric flux is equal to q by epsilon not where q is the charges sum of charges that are inside the closed uh, surface gaussian surface whereas the flux is due to all the other charges in the universe also and uh, the similar thing is happening here hope everything is clear till now let's move forward next we have something called as toroid toroid is nothing but a solenoid but it's bent into a circle that's it and uh, here also i have to take some assumptions uh, i'm saying that the smaller radius i mean this one this r is very very small and compared to the length or perimeter i should say and compared to 2 pi r and uh, because of this assumption we can say that the magnetic field inside the toroid is also constant pretty much and its uh, direction is given by the right hand rule anyways you can also say that it's tangential to this circle which you see the inner circle now to this assumption i have said that the magnetic field inside the toroid is pretty much constant let it be b and what about uh, the points inside the circle and outside the circle and at this point p and at this point q the magnetic field will be zero how take a loop here there are no currents inside that loop so by ampere's law the magnetic field uh, at this point p or all the points on this loop and dl will be mu not times zero so finally you can say that magnetic field at uh, p is zero and similar by similar argument take a loop here for q the currents are entering here and also going out inside this uh, loop so by similar argument you can say that magnetic field at q is also zero first of all i said that uh, the toroid is nothing but a uh, solenoid and it is bent so i can argue that the same formula should work i mean the magnetic field inside the toroid should also be mu not times small n times i where i is the current through the toroid okay this should work right because the solenoid 
when it's bent into a circle it gives a toroid so the same formula should work now you may argue saying no man it's bent now it's not a straight solenoid okay the direction of magnetic field should change now it is in this direction it is circular inside this toroid but the formula or the magnitude should be same right however i know that uh, many of you are not convinced with my with my argument so let's follow the conventional method let's take a loop again okay now you know that the magnetic field inside this uh, toroid at points like p and outside this toroid at points like q is zero right now uh, the magnetic field inside the toroid is pretty much constant because of this assumption and uh, let it be b okay now this is my amperian loop this dotted or dashed line which you see this one uh, and the radius is smaller here okay if that is my amperian loop i'll apply this amperes ampere circuit law. what will i get where am i just a minute okay you know times the current will be uh, if the total number of loops are n capital n okay then the current through each uh, wire uh, current through the wire is n right so if n loops are there then my total current entering the entering into the screen or going out of the screen should be n into i inside the loop or the total current inside that uh, ampere loop should be n into i and this will be equal to the magnetic field b and dl uh, integral of dl i'll write it directly as 2 pi r because anyways the magnetic field is tangential right so the dot product anyways is just the product normal product okay and so by this formula i can get that b is equal to mu naught capital n i by 2 pi r where capital n is the total number of terms turns in the in the toroid now is this formula equal to this formula yes it is because capital n is the total number of terms turns turns and uh, it can be given or it can be written in terms of small n as let me write it as a uh, small n number of turns per unit length into what is the total length that is the perimeter right and uh, this term and this term gets cancelled and finally you get the same formula mu naught into i into n so the formulas are uh, same for both uh, both uh, solenoid and toroid just the direction is given by right hand rule for toroid it is circular inside and for solenoid you know it right so our argument is correct but note that we have taken many many assumptions here first of all the biggest assumption is that the solenoid is of infinite length and uh, that is not true uh, however in practical cases that will do if the length of the solenoid is uh, very larger when compared to the radius but note that in all the practical situations there will be some magnetic field outside the solenoid but who cares when you are able to use these formulas to create some machines and take advantage of them so that's it for today and uh, keep watching thank you